Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And Dan. And today, we're going to be reviewing the WWE Elite Series 103 Street Profits. Yes, finally, a new release, The Street Profits. And Dan's Boom. very excited. That's what we're doing. Have not been released, right? Uh, yeah, the couple did say they might be getting released soon, so... Yeah. We just had the shocking news of Matt Riddle's release today, uh, September 24th. Uh, no, actually, that was uh, a few days ago. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I just found out today. Yeah. I think it was, like, Friday, I think. Like, what is going on with all these releases? Um, it's probably because of the, um, the new owners. I guess so. Jeez. So, yeah, Street Profits. Maybe they're on the chopping block. Maybe they're not. Maybe this is the last action figures we ever get. But, anyhow, let's get into this. We pre ordered these, what, back in around your birthday, July? Yeah, actually, no, we didn't uh, pre order them. This, uh, it took so long because of the other figures we had on our order. Oh, these were in stock, but when you bring side collectibles, sometimes they make you uh, wait until. And so pretty much all of them are in stock and then right. they ship it. So that's why me and Dad normally would um would do all the things separate orders. Yeah, me and Dad do two orders, one for everything that we can get now, and then the other for um all of our like pre orders and stuff. So these obviously weren't released when we made the order back in July. So they had to be released sometime between July and now, so August maybe. Yeah, I think it was August. August release. All right, let's get into this. So we have Dun, dun, dun. Um, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. So we'll start with Angelo, which is probably the more improved version of the two. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, the first one was kind of rough. Yeah. It wasn't very accurate. Okay. So and we got different uniforms. He goes with more of a basketball-style-looking suit. Here's the back. Uh, right, right there he is. Looks like he's ready to shoot a free, uh, free shot versus being a wrestling match. But you know, yeah. it's okay if that's what they like. Get the Montez. Yes. Very nice. And also, they have the same bios on the back. And they're well. both wearing the basketball uniforms there. And let's. Do you want me to read the bio? Um, or should you do it? I guess if you want to. All right, so. Um, career highlights. Raw Tag Team Champion. SmackDown Tag Team Champion. NXT Tag Team Champion. The Street Profits wanted the smoke and earned the right to challenge the Usos for the Undisputed to be Tag Team Championships. And it pretty much says the exact same thing for Montez Ford. Right. In this series, they, they're doing Love Morgan. A Stardust figure is kind of interesting. Um, of course, these guys. A new Roman Reigns. Shocking. Yeah, and a new Bobby Lashley. Shocking, which we didn't really need. So, here we are. But well, we did pick up these because we really wanted a fresh set yes. of the uh, Street Profits. Because we really did not need super overly the top massive uh, Angelo Dawkins. He, uh, his, figure was, yeah. his figure was really large. I yeah, he that. had Braun Strowman's torso. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember watching him on TV. I was like, he's not that big. Yeah. Well, yeah. luckily he has a new torso now. Okay. So we'll see so if we'll see if it gets our approval. I guess. Right. See if it's more accurate. Right. So we'll start with Montez. All right. Let's get him out of the packaging here. Actually, we'll be right back with him out of the packaging. All right, guys, we've got him removed from the packaging, and here it is: Dawkins Ford. The Panhandlers. What? I got the Panhandlers. <laughs> <laughs> the Street Bums. Street Bums? No. Um. T anyway. Um. So here. So all we get for Angelo. Um. The accessories that aren't already on the figure are some grabby hands. Okay, and then we have slappy hands that come with it. No, Mont Montez Ford comes with slappy hands. Oh, it's this. Um, a fist, and then a um the cup grabber. Okay. And now back again. Hi guys, so we're back. Yes, with the Street Profits series. Uh, one hundred three. 
So this is them in their striped basketball uniform, kind of a little Orlando Magic looking theme. Um, pants are molded plastic, kind of with the legs, yeah. and it does. You do have a cloth uh, shirt, Actually, jersey. We don't have any Velcro on these shirts. No, it's kind of like one whole piece, right? So, Dad, um, so if you, so we will take them off eventually, but, um, but if you do want to take these off, then, um, then you'll, um, uh, basically have to take them off like you would, uh, taking off a regular shirt. Yeah, maybe removing their arms might be easier. Uh, no, their arms aren't removable. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is Dawkins, just says street props on the front. He's number six. Uh, you do get the removable headband. For some reason, we're going to be ridiculous. <laughs> He looks like he's saying goal. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> soccer game. singing the national anthem. I don't know. <laughs> looks like he's but, singing. I mean, this might have been fine alternative head, but this is the only head you get with this figure. And yeah, he literally, I don't know. Looks like he's. <laughs> he looks like he's like, oh! <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's a terrible, terrible, I mean, head scan of that's, or head, I see scan, just pose. If that's the only one you're going to get with the figure. So, uh, yeah, it looks like he's doing the hacksaw Jim Duggan thing. Oh! Yeah, he put his headband on back. Oh, see. yeah. See, they really so. put grooves in for the ears. See, there's like a chunk missing there. Oh, okay. It's for the ears. So, yeah, terrible job there, Patel. I don't understand why you would come up with that kind of silly pose. Uh, and now he's stuck with it for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. that's Dawkins, and I'll let Boo go over Montez fourth. Here he is. So he is number 24. Also says Street Profits. On the back, 24, it says Ford. And then on the back, yeah, I didn't really go over the back very well, but it says Dawkins. I turned it around, so I'm number six. Yeah. Yeah, but he didn't say that the back. Oh, yeah. Tell us about it. But then we have all the tattoos work for Montez. Get the cup. Pretty sure this is the. Same cup we got with their other figures. Oh, right. Solo cup's kind of their their thing, right? And here's yes. the head sculpt, also reused from the um, last um, figures. Okay. Um, and then the shades are also reused. Gotcha. And then, um, pretty much, let's see. Yeah, I think it's the exact same sculpt as on um, Angelo. And, uh, but we unfortunately do not have lower shin cuts. Oh. So we cannot swivel the lower shin. Okay. And then we have the terrible John Cena foot mold. Oh. Uh -huh. shoe mold. And that's the way. Which. Way. Yeah, I did that. But I did do that. So the John Cena shoe mold doesn't stand very well, I guess. That's what you're saying. They both have the same one. Okay, now that, now we're gonna, uh, see them in wrestling gear. Okay. And also, kind of, as a tutorial of how to take off the shirts, I guess. Yeah, this should be kind of interesting, so you can figure out. Maybe it won't be as bad as it looks. Well, Dad, like, um, so no let's see. Well, we need to get Dad a trained professional with this, so you could do Angelo. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm going to try to just slip off the top, maybe. It is kind of a stretchy material, so yeah, yeah. I think this is going to work out. And okay. also, I do recommend also taking off the head scan. Yeah, yeah, Boone did that. I don't think I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm able to stretch it right over, so that's not really a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Just because the material is very stretchy. Yeah. And it's kind of loose, so it works out good. But yeah, it's a really nice-looking, cool jersey. They did a great job with that. So let's see. Are they the same? No, they're not. Angela's is actually bigger. Okay. Uh, well, you said that, yeah, he, he got a new uh, body scan, right? Just yeah, scan? He has, no, he has a new torso. Torso, yeah. Can't not quite as muscular, but not as hulking as the other one. Where <laughs> Boog said he was literally given the Braun Strowman torso, and he's not nowhere near that big. Um, so this is what we're getting this time. And then here is uh, Montez Ford, right? A little more ripped and smaller. Yeah, I think this is also a reuse of the Ricochet torso, which was the same torso that was reused for the first figure. Okay, gotcha. Is that a new torso, you think? No. Or just new to him? Okay. Who else would have that torso? Um, um, I think... I think... Mm -hmm. I think Umaga might have that torso, maybe. Oh, uh, okay. 
That's the first person that could come to mind that might have Maybe that Solo? Um, no. We'll get to that. Yes, that tomorrow. Review. Okay. Uh, tomorrow is when we're recording this. Yes. But I think that's going to be the end of this review. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. The Street Profits, uh, like I said, Series 103. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay, guys, in this video, make sure to like and subscribe for some more awesome um, WWE fun. Bye! See you next time!